Using the position graphs below, determine the total distance each particle traveled. When determining the total distance, we don't care whether the distance is in the positive or negative direction, we only care about the total distance traveled. So looking at the first graph, notice particle one starts at position zero, or the starting position, and also ends at position zero, or ends back at the starting position. Particle two starts at position zero, but then ends five meters away in the positive direction. But again, this question is asking us to determine the total distance each particle traveled. So starting with particle one, notice for the first second, the particle travels from position zero to a position of negative two meters, and therefore the particle travels two meters in the negative direction during the first second. And then from one second to two seconds, the position remains negative two, and therefore the particle traveled zero meters. Then from two seconds to four seconds, the particle travels from position of negative two meters from the starting position to a position of positive two meters from the starting position, which is a distance of four meters. Again, from two to three seconds, the particle travels from the position of negative two meters from the starting position back to the starting position, which is two meters. And then from three to four seconds, the particle travels two meters in the positive direction, resulting in a distance of four meters from two seconds to four seconds. And then finally, from four seconds to five seconds, the particle travels from a position of positive two meters from the starting position back to position zero with the starting position, which is a distance of two meters. Particle one travels two plus four plus two meters, or a total distance of eight meters. And now let's take a look at particle two. Notice for the first second, the particle travels from the starting position to a position of one meter in the positive direction, and therefore the particle travels one meter for the first second. From one second to two seconds, the position remains positive one, the particle travels zero meters from one to two seconds. From two seconds to three seconds, the particle travels from a position of positive one meter to a position of positive two meters, the particle travels one meter from two seconds to three seconds. And then from three seconds to four seconds, the particle travels from a position of positive two meters to a position of positive four meters, the particle travels two meters from three seconds to four seconds. And then from four seconds to five seconds, the particle travels from a position of four meters to a position of five meters, the particle travels one meter from four seconds to five seconds. The total distance traveled is one plus one plus two plus one meters, or five meters. I hope you found this helpful.